What's going on guys, Superdosh9 and welcome back to another fantastic data pack video. Today we are going to learn how to create custom loot tables for our epic village that we are building and placing them inside of the structure. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so here we are inside of VS Code and what we're going to be doing to start off is going to our namespace, which in my case is epic villages. We are going to add a folder and we are going to call this one loot underscore tables. All right, so inside the loot table folder, we are going to add a folder called chess. And this is going to hold all of our JSON files for all the different loot tables that we want to access for our project. Now that we're inside of the chess folder, we want to create our first JSON file. This one, I'm going to kind of keep it uh, organized with what I'm doing here. We're going to call this one village uh, underscore cherry underscore loot one dot JSON. You can name this anything. You don't have to follow what I'm doing here. You just have to have dot JSON at the end to turn it into a JSON file. So we are going to hit enter. So inside of here, this is where we're going to start formulating our JSON file. Now this one, I'm going to completely type out live for you guys. I'm not going to copy and paste anything in here. I figure this kind of gives us a chance to talk about some of the things that are going on and stuff like that. So with that said, we are going to start with first placing in some, of course, curly brackets, our favorite thing in JSON. Next, we are going to type quotations and then type. This should autofill if you're using VS Code for you. We are going to set this one to chest. So there's a whole bunch of different options that you can put here. We're just going to focus on chest for now. Uh, this will work for any storage item inside of the game. We'll get into that later. You'll see. I'll show you an example. We're going to do comma and then we are going to type quotations again and pools and then it should auto populate the brackets for you. We're going to hit enter and then we are going to do some curly brackets and enter again. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is add some quotations and then we are going to add this called roles right here. This is going to be like the number of slots that can be taken up um, by your loot table and things like that. So for this one, we'll just do like we'll just do like uh, three. There's that and then bonus roles. We're going to add that as well. So this is if you want to like have some sort of variation, things like that to add some extras. You can um, if you want. We're just going to leave it as zero for tutorial purposes. And then functions, we're going to add that there in quotations should auto populate your brackets again. We're going to hit enter and then curly brackets and hit enter again. And then this is where the fun starts happening. So right off the rip, we're just going to build this whole thing. I'm not going to do like a little process of showing you this, then that, then coming back, doing all that. We're just going to do it all in one shot. So what I would like to do is create something that has just a few items in it. It's just going to be random items for tutorial purposes, stuff that you probably wouldn't include in an actual loot table, you know, kind of deal. You would probably want to add some like golden apples or, you know, emeralds, diamonds, whatever. But this is the, the basic template that you would follow. So I want to create variation inside of these guys. And that's what we've set up so far with the functions here. So how we're going to do that is we're going to add quotations and then function again. Um, no S on this one. It should auto populate for you. And then in here, there's different options you can um, place. As you can see here, we are going to set count in our case. So then what we're going to do is add our commas. Make sure you're adding commas. This is uh, very important. A lot. <laughs> It'll break a lot of things. I've been down that road a whole bunch of times. So we're going to put in count. Uh, curly brackets and then we're going to hit um, enter and then for this one we are going to type also in a uh, type and then we're going to call this one uniform there's other things that you can put in this type uniform is going to allow us to do uh, a randomization with a min and a max amount this is going to set the amount of items per item randomly if that makes any sense so we'll do min and then we'll do the minimum item as one and then we'll do max with a max of we'll just go like 32 we'll go half a stack right so what this is going to do is when we spawn in an item there's going to be a random chance basically that it's going to spawn within our function here between one of that item and 32 of that item in our loot table so uh yeah now what we need to do is add our extra actual items so we need to drop down to uh this bracket right here it should be in line with functions up there at the top we're going to hit little comma there and then hit enter and then we are going to type in entries like so should auto populate as well we're going to hit enter and then curly brackets and then this is where we're going to start listing our items so we just need a type we are going to call this item there's different things that you can put in here as well but we're just going to focus on items for now so now you can do quotations and the name and then this is actually the name of the item so we can do random things since we're doing this in the cherry blossom biome basically i'm going to be just doing cherry uh we'll just do planks for tutorial purposes again this probably isn't something that you would want to add in a loot table because it's not really that epic but hey you know <laughs> and then what we'll do 
is uh, we'll set the weight for this because what the weight will do is just like in the other uh, tables that we've made for the structures and stuff, also add its um, rarity of spawning, right? So for this one, since it's just kind of like a common item, we'll put it at like five. So it's going to ha have a high chance of being one of the ones spawned in. So then now let's add some more. All you need to do is drop down to this curly bracket that I'm at, hit a comma there, and then we're going to do a, another set of curly brackets. And then we are going to do type like so, and then we're going to do item and then uh, same thing, let's do name. So let me do that so this will auto populate. And then I think let's just add, let's just add beef. We'll do cooked beef. So then we get some food in there and then we'll set that with a weight of, I don't know, three. That's good enough, all right. So then after that, we're gonna drop down to this cur or curly bracket again, we're gonna hit a comma and then we're gonna build the last one. Now this one, I'm just gonna copy and paste it. You guys kind of get the gist of it now. So we can just do this and then come over here to this end, boom, got that. And then I'll just add like a diamond. So we'll just add a diamond and then we'll put this as a weight of one. So it has a really like low chance of spawning in. All right, so now we're gonna get into kind of the fun thing. I'm gonna make a little custom item that's gonna spawn in one slot every single time for our loot table. So this one, I'm gonna, you guys know I love Bacon. I'm going to make a pork chop that has its own name and it's going to be bold text. It's going to have a color. It's going to be have a <laughs> random enchantment on it. <laughs> so yeah, let's get into that. All right. So to get this one properly set up, what we want to be doing is adding a comma on this curly bracket here. This is the one that's in line with underneath pools here because we're going to be continuing our loot table pool. So we're going to hit a comma and then we are going to hit enter and add some more curly brackets and hit enter again. Now it's gonna be the same as the top. We're gonna to set rolls. That's not how you spell rolls, just like that. And then we're just gonna set this one to one because we only want it to spawn uh, in one slot. And then we'll do bonus rolls. Uh, we're gonna set this one to zero again, 0, 0.0. And then now we're gonna do our entries. So we're gonna add that. That should all auto populate again. Hit enter. Then we're gonna do curly brackets. And then we're gonna do what we did up there at the top. We're gonna do type. And then we're gonna call this one item, comma. And then we're gonna do name. And then we're gonna call this one, it's gonna be a pork chop. So it's just gonna be a raw pork chop. And <laughs> uh, we'll do functions now. So we'll add the functions and then curly brackets, enter. And then we we are going to do function and then this is another function that you can put inside of these quotations i was talking about earlier we're going to do set underscore name for this so this is going to literally set the name of the function or not the name of the function the name of the item my bad you're going to hit comma and then we are going to set the name like so that should auto populate we're going to do curly brackets again there's so many brackets on this it's crazy so now let's start with the text first so we just need quotations and then text if i can spell text there we go and then we'll just call this super, super bacon with an exclamation point. Why not? And then we'll make it bold. Like I was saying, we'll set this to true because we don't want it to be false. If we have it as false, it's just not going to do anything. So that is pointless. Just don't add it if you don't want to do that. And then color, um, we will set as gold because it's one that I remember from the server days off the top of my head. It's FFAA and then zero, zero. Oh, that is not zero, 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 zero. So that should set the super bacon title to gold, basically, of the item. And then what we're going to do is by default in Minecraft, it'll show as italics. So or italic, you want to set that to false unless you want it to show italic. Um, I don't. So we're just going to set it to false. Now, the next thing is let's add a enchantment to this guy. Uh, something that's really stupid. I, I think what I'm going to do is add maybe an enchantment for like knockback or something dumb, right? And make it <laughs> super powerful. Um, so we just need to do a comma there and then same thing. We're going to do curly brackets and then enter. And then we are going to set this with function quotations. And then this is another thing that you can do inside of the uh, function setting is uh, set and then enchantments. It's right here. I'm just going to scroll down and hit enter. So we got that and then put your comma in and then we are going to list enchantments like so. And now this is where we can put our enchantments. So how we do that is we do in uh, quotations and then you can see the list pop up here. So I'm just going to do it stupid and add knockback on a piece of, you know, bacon, because why not? So this will set, uh, I believe, at default like that uh, knockback one. If you want to set a certain amount, which is what we're going to do, you put a, a colon or semi. Yeah, that's colon, colon, semicolon. I don't know. I mix those two up all the time. You put 40 and then you'll see it changes like that. So now what should happen is it should spawn in with knockback 40 on it. So there's one other thing that I like to put in here, and I'm not sure if it's really necessary, but to me, it's kind of good practice because there might be instances where this won't spawn in uh, or has a chance to spawn in without 
uh, this set enchantment. So if you want that to occur every single time like we do uh, with no problems, we're going to do a uh, comma. And then we are going to do quotations with add in there. And then we're going to set this guy to true. So in this way, every time this item is spawned in, it is going to have all of this stuff or this enchantment basically on this item every single time. No problems whatsoever. All right. So then we are going to continue with creating an actual item because I'm sure people are going to ask, how do you get an item in here with an enchantment and then also have like damage set? Maybe you want a variation in damage. So we are going to do that now. So we're going to continue the pool here. So we're going to run on this uh, line right here all the way down. And we are going to go to this curly bracket. We are going to hit another comma and then enter curly brackets, enter. And then this is where this guy is going to get started. So I'm only going to spawn in one item. So I'm just going to do rolls set to one again. We'll just copy that. I want to space this over to keep it nice and neat for readability purposes. All right. And then we'll do bonus rolls and set this to 0.0, .0 again because we don't want any extras. And then uh, entries we will set that there. So following the same pattern to get this all set up, same thing. We'll do type and then this one's going to be item and then away. Oh, Totally spelled item wrong. What is going on here? Holy God, I had myself. There we go. Sweet. And now let's do name and then, ah, uh, you know what? We'll just do, we'll just do an iron sword for tutorial purposes. So you can do this with a shovel. You can do this with any item that you want. Uh, add all different types of enchantments, stuff like that. If you want like a chest plate in here with some stuff on it, you would switch this out to like diamond underscore chest plate, I think is what it is. Um, all this stuff will auto populate. That's why I love VS Code. Makes it so easy to do this stuff. Comma. And then we're going to do functions. And then we're going to hit enter again with some curly brackets. Hit enter again and then this is where we're going to add our enchantments kind of like what we did up there um, with the knockback 40 it's going to kind of be the same thing the only new addition is going to be the damage part so we are going to add function and then we're going to do set uh, underscore enchantments again and hit our comma go here and now we are going to do enchantments and then um we're going to hit enter i think i'm just going to do knock back again or i mean here you know what let's just do sharpness right we'll change it up so then you guys can see that this is how it's done we'll put like sharpness three on it why not and then again good practice to add this at least in my opinion we are going to do add and then uh true and then that is uh that so then now to add the damage part we're gonna come down here to this curly bracket we're going to hit a uh, comma and then we're going to do curly brackets again. Then it's going to be function and then set damage, set underscore damage like so. And then it's going to be damage. And then this is two curly brackets there with enter. And then this is where we are going to set a min and max um, for randomization. So again, just like we did earlier, we're going to type type. <laughs> And then this is going to be set to form again. And then we are going to have our min in max. So our min, we are going to set to 0 0.5. And I'll explain this here in a minute. And then we'll have our max at just one. All right. And then there is that. So what this is going to do is it's going to have a random chance with this uniform uh, type here to spawn between um, half damage or it's going to spawn in with no damage at all or anywhere in between basically. So basically if you wanted it completely damaged, it would be like zero, zero. So in this case, if you wanted uh, one with complete damage, you could do zero, zero or zero, zero like this and then one. So it has a chance to spawn in with basically from zero to 100. So we'll put that back to 0.5 and then we're pretty much ready to go. So now what we can do is uh, save all and we can jump into Minecraft reload and see if this guy works. All right. So here we are in Minecraft and I'm going to show you guys this amazingly long command. I've already pre-typed this out because it, it would take a minute to type it, but here it is right here. So let's go over this real quick of what's going on exactly. We've got four slash give super Joshua nine. That is, you know, giving the item to me, right? It's going to be a chest. And then we're going to have a curly bracket and it's going to be block entity, as you see right here with a colon. And then you're going to have a uh, open curly bracket loot table spelled exactly as you see here with a colon. And then you're going to have a quotation. And then this is going to be your namespace, whatever namespace you're using. In my case, it's going to be Epic Villages. And then we're going to have colon. And then this is going to point towards that chest folder that we made uh, where our loot table is stored. So that's basically the directory that we're going to is chess forward slash village underscore cherry underscore loot one. Uh, dot json which is the json file you don't need to put dot, dot json in minecraft but that's where it's pointing so there's that you do a end quotation there and then ending uh curly brackets two of them um and then that that is that so once you run this command you should get a chest just as you see here and what is awesome is when you place this chest down and we access it you can see here we've got a variety of different items 
So we know that is working. Also, the sword has a little bit of damage on there. As you can see, the durability is knocked down and it has sharpness three on it. And then our super bacon has uh, a gold name, bold, and it has knockback 40 on it. So now every time that this chest is placed, it will be different from uh, another chest, right? So if we look in this one, obviously there's no diamonds in here. We've got steak. This one's spawning all the time. Same thing with the iron sword, just as we set up inside of the loot table. As you can see, this one's different. And then this one is different as well. So... What's cool about this is now you can place these inside of your structures. We'll kind of go over that here in a minute. But I also want to show that you don't you're not just limited to a chest. You can actually use a barrel and there's nothing that is different other than in the give command that you do to yourself. So I'll show you that command real quick. All right. So to do the barrel, it's the same exact command, except in this case, you're just going to do Minecraft colon barrel, just as you see here and hit enter. It'll get you uh, the barrel. And then when you place down the barrel, you'll see it will do the same thing as all of the chests over there. All the items are spawning in as well, which is totally awesome. And now we can put these inside of our structures over here. So let's go do that. So now with all of that set up, we can take a barrel in our case and throw it inside of our structure. So I'm just gonna do it inside of our first common house here. We're just gonna throw it in and leave it as is. Do not access this. Uh, if you do, what will happen is when you save the structure file, it will generate all the items that are in this chest that was here when you opened it every single time that this structure spawns in. So if you want variation, just throw the barrel and or chest in here and every time that once this is saved or time this structure spawns it will do a random variation every single time so with that said we'll just run out here and save the structure just like so we just hit save like that and there we go so now like i did in the previous episodes we'll navigate to where this save is at and then add it back into our data pack if you haven't seen that i would urge you to go check out the previous video videos i'll have a card popping up on the screen now for you to take a look at that stuff so you can learn how to do all that so with that it is a complete wrap hopefully you guys enjoyed the video today if so please hit the like button for the love of bacon with that said be safe be kind know that you're appreciated and super josh 9 is out.